I saw some signs over Brazil. The Spirit of God says Brazilian institutions have been shaken in the past. They shall be shaken again. The very foundations of the nation state shall be shaken and discovered, says the Spirit of God. I saw a mighty wind of the Spirit of God which shall hit Brazil from the beginning of this June, June 2017. This revival of the Spirit of God shall spread to many nations, including North America, Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. This is what the Spirit of God is saying. The Spirit of God is saying, God is shaking Brazil, the institutions of Brazil, until the foundations of Brazil are discovered. Why? Because God wants to trigger a revival, a spiritual awakening from Brazil. You will start to, all of a sudden, you will start to see preachers, even on television, who will be preaching in Portuguese and some people interpreting in English, who will be mightily anointed by the Holy Spirit. God was telling me in the realms of the Spirit that for the past 30 years, he has been preparing vessels that he wants to release all over the earth from that nation, Brazil. Hallelujah. It's the nation where there was the Zika virus. The Spirit of God is saying, this revival of the Spirit of God shall spread to many nations, including North America, Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. Number three. I saw a mighty angel of God in a vision descend from heaven with a scroll upon a country in South America, which is called Venezuela. It has been undergoing a lot of, of upheaval, a lot of turmoil, a lot of social and political unrest. The messenger of God landed upon the country which is called Venezuela. God says because of his children who are intercessors in that country, his children who are Christians in that country, who cry unto him day and night, because of that cant, who cry unto him day and night because of the mayhem, mayhem and the turmoil which is in that cant, a solution has been found for the nation. We decree to the elements in the atmosphere that a solution has been found for Venezuela according to the declaration of God through his watcher angels, of which this angel that I saw is one of those watcher angels. It was the angels that watch over nations says the Spirit of God. God says Venezuela shall know peace soon. He says he has judged and overthrown those who cause others to be oppressed, to hunger, to suffer, and to despair. God says the economy and politics of Venezuela shall know peace after a brief period of pain and turbulence. God says Venezuelans must not look to men for salvation but up to him, who own, because he owns the country and all its people. I see in the spirit, in the spiritual realm, that Venezuela shall know economic prosperity and political peace. I see in the realms of the spirit that God will trigger a mighty revival in that nation. After this period of suffering, after this period of testing, says the spirit of God, I will move with a mighty revival upon the nation of Venezuela. Many wonderful things shall be known from Venezuela. God says this is the season of Venezuela. The united camp of the oppressor. I saw after the visitation of the mighty angel of God becoming divided. Those who are currently united to oppress others, I saw God divide them. Just watch your CNN and your BBC you will begin to witness divisions in the apparatus which is united to, oppor to oppress others, says the Spirit of God. All the people shall know that it is God who has spoken, not a human being. Let us as intercessors watch and pray for the fulfillment of the promise of God and the declarations of God upon the nation Venezuela. Let us keep hands for God. You may not know that nation, but people have been dying. Today, to date, around 40 people have died because of demonstrations. 
This other time I was watching on CNN, people were just standing and there was a, a corpse behind them. There is so much violence in that nation that people, people are now, I mean they are becoming numbed to violence. But God is saying not anymore. He is dividing the camp of the oppressor. Say the camp of the oppressor has been divided. God says we must pray for the preservation of human life in Hollywood. I saw a tragic event which has potential to claim human life which Jesus Christ has targeted for an eternal salvation. Jesus Christ has targeted certain people in Hollywood for an eternal salvation. Because of their fame, Jesus Christ wants to use them also to, to share the gospel. But the devil wants to destroy them before they actually come to an eternal salvation. So we need to intercede because in this tragedy that I saw, these people that Jesus Christ wants to use for an eternal salvation, they may inadvertently die. Look at your neighbor and say, watch and pray. Say, watch and pray. Watch and pray. 